Ah, that would do folks. Your boy, Marcos Wonder Tuesday Five Numbers after the name. A little wasteland Wednesday action here. A little Black Ops Three action. I mean, I wanted to keep it all Black Ops this this this, this week. All Black Ops. Black Black Ops on Black Ops on Black Ops on Black Ops. Uh, and uh, it's, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> the cat did that. We were talking about what we were gonna play, and he was like, "I'm gonna play some Black Ops Three. I was like, "What?" I was like, "Black Ops Three. I don't even even consider going back to this game, man. <laughs> when you think about like what Black Ops Three like the trajectory it had. It was kind of like wild, right? If you kind of think about like where Call of Duty's been these past couple of years, it's been kind of just so wild. I, I, I want to start from Black Ops 2 forward. Black Ops 2 comes out, we're all in. Like that thing was amazing. I remember like the huge thing about Black Ops 2 being that we finally fixed Ghost, that like you had to move or whatever. We were still talking about stuff. It, it's so interesting to see, you know, the expanded kill streaks and whatnot, and the score streaks and the pick 10 system. That's like what Black Ops 2 did, and to me that was. I don't want to say that's the last one that really innovated on the series because obviously the, the complete change of movement uh, is innovated. But that was the kind of big push or the last big push that I felt Call of Duty did in the right direction, if you want to put it that way. Uh, and one cool thing about Black Ops 2 that I had that, that I, I, I didn't even give it any credit for at the time because I didn't play it, but a lot of people I knew played it and a lot of people were into it was the league play where you could kind of... They kind of rank people competitively to play with somebody around your skill level and whatnot. And they played by like MLG rules and stuff. And even some of like the pros like played it and whatnot. I never cared for it. I've always been a pub guy my whole life. I, I don't really. I, 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 the ultimate form of competition to me is just six random dudes. Let's see what happens. Random dudes and chicks. Let's see what happens. Uh, this lobby could be stacked. This lobby could not be stacked. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't really want to. Let's use everything that the game has to offer. I don't really want to limit this to... Uh, to any rules or regulations, and I've never really, I've never gotten into the MLG scene uh, in, in Call of Duty, and and, and it's something. I just, let me tell me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go completely off script here, dog. Let me talk to these guys a little bit about esports, man. Uh, I'm a big sports guy. Anyone who knows me, huge sports guy. Love soccer, probably number one. Basketball, really close up in there. Followed by baseball, football. They kind of go a little bit hand in hand over there. But I keep my hands on everything, and I work in the field. Um, so I'm kind of in tune with uh, with sports in general, and I, I start seeing all the esports stuff, right? People, teams buying esports teams, uh, esports being on TV was like a big deal. Like ESPN carrying some of that stuff. Obviously, the StarCraft stuff before that and whatnot was a huge deal. So there's there a bunch of like esports stuff like happening, kind of hitting the sphere in the past couple of years, and I, I respect it 100%. Like 100%, I really. I'm glad to see that. I'm glad for people to get the same recognition um, that everyone deserves. I'm going to tell you guys a story, man, about like uh, back in my high school days. You know, one of the things that I was so proud of when I was in high school was uh, we were required to do a, an activity, uh, like a post uh, a post school activity. Uh, I don't really know, like an after curricular activity, I guess is what I'm looking for, right? And when I got there, it was just kind of sports. Like, that's kind of like pick a sport, whatever you wanted to do. And as the years kind of went along there by my senior year, you could be in like the band that just started up, or you could be in like the the drama guild, like you know you do theater, um, you do community service. Like it opened, it branched out to a bunch of different things, and that's kind of where I feel like esports. What, what I like about esports is that it, it, it's branching out what we know traditionally as sports into other things. I, I think one of the things that hurts me when I think about esports is, and, and, and I don't mean any disrespect with this comment, but I don't really consider it a sport. Like I, I don't, I'm not sure. It, it falls into kind of the same line of thinking of like where a golf or a bowling are sports, you know, where I'm like, they seem like skills and you could be really good at them and, and I have no problem with competing in them and hosting competition of that long, uh, that variety. But sports just doesn't se seems a little bit off, you know. And even to, to, to people that aren't like familiar with the, the whole circumstance, it seems off. Uh, one of my favorite reactions that I had with my girl over here, we were watching the, uh, the video game awards this past year and Michael Phelps came out to give the Esports player of the year, I guess, was like the, the appropriate term for, for what they gave out. And she was like, oh, it's Michael Phelps. I was like, yeah, but he's like an, an athlete. And I was like, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I mean, these kids are probably athletes too. And 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 it's no, it's, it's, it's honestly, there's no knock on these people, man. Like, I'm not, I'm not telling them that to shape anything. I'm not like even trying to qualify that. I just, and maybe it's just me with a uh, old school mentality of what sports are. But to me, that that's not. It's just not an athletic endeavor. Uh, being able to stay long hours playing video games just isn't 
I can't put that on the same field that I'd put a soccer player. You know, like it's not – they're two separate things to me. It's, a, it's an elite competition uh, with a certain skill set in this game, in a particular game. But it's not it, – it, it's just not an athletic endeavor. Like you don't have to be in shape to – play video games. I, I, I think I'm maybe, maybe I'm a little bit too stringent on that notion, but I think that the name esports in itself doesn't even do it any favors. Like, I, I, to me, it should all be based around the game, right? And when I see, like, I don't know, this guy, or, you know, here's an esports competition, my first thing is, like, what are they playing, though? Like, I don't really, like, care, you know? To me, a, a name like Evo, for example, is a, is a lot more powerful, where I know, okay, Evo, I, they play fighting games there. I wonder what fighting games they playing this year, you know? That that kind of does a lot more to explain to me what it is and distinguish it from esports, which automatically me lands it as a comparison of sports, which automatically hurts the credibility of what we're trying to sell in this regard. Uh, I've Twitch streamed and I've, I've watched a, a lot of uh, competitions that have gone, not necessarily the Call of Duty, even like at the Heights, even like the Black Ops 2 days and stuff. Like, I really didn't, I didn't care for the competitive scene. This is not something I do. There's a lot of people that are into it, and, and God bless. I'm not saying that it shouldn't exist. I 100% agree with it. I'm very happy that it exists, and I, I think it could only help the game, not hurt it. Um, but I'm just not into it. Call of Duty has never been a game where it kind of attracts me uh, into that. And, and I think it's a little bit difficult for me, even in games. I, like, I've watched StarCraft, for example, and I enjoyed it. I'm just not a big StarCraft guy anymore. Uh, but I enjoy it, uh, and I like something where it's simple to kind of see what's going on. Whereas a first-person shooter, you kind of keep dipping and dodging into things, and it's a little bit difficult to keep going along. And then the, the, the shoutcasts to me are a little bit of just a shtick right there that I, I really don't really need in my life. Uh, you know, a, little, a little too much Dick Vitale in them, if you, if you want to get a, a sports analogy in there, that, that I really don't need in my life. Um, shout out to the homie Dick Vitale, man. I hope you retire soon. I, love, I mute the games when he's on. I'm, I'm not, I don't want to get on a bash and hit Dick Vitale thing, but I can't stand listen to the band. I, I, give me Hubie Brown any day on any... And, oh, God. Think about that. Get him out of here. Either way, not going to not gonna bash him. I mean, think about Think about that. Let me bash him for a sec. Not think about that. This guy's all talking about the mid-majors and how these guys got to get more exposure, da, 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 but this dude only called USC Duke games. Like, I can touch It's like, my man only had the big games. Teach the rail, though. Good, good for him. God bless him. Uh, wish him all the best, but not, not exactly my cup of tea. Back to the esports scene, though. So I'm not sure how Call of Duty could break any further. I think the Call of Duty esports scene is healthy. Um, it's, I don't think it's anything crazy, but I, I think it's healthy. I'm more interested to see where other games kind of play along with that. And for the most part, I think all these things kind of have niche followings, but we haven't gotten that game yet that's kind of broken through to pop culture uh, in the way that uh, you know, in, in the way that uh, that everybody will be into it. Everybody will kind of know who, like, the top dog is at the game and whatnot. And it, it's a little bit strange to me because if a game like Call of Duty, which is very permeated in the pop culture, you know, you think about people that play, some people that play video games, they'll buy FIFA, Madden, Call of Duty. Like, that might be the only games they buy, like, every year. There's, there's like, a large segment of people that that's what they do. And if that segment can't push you along to uh, the esports notoriety, then I'm not sure what will necessarily. And that's something interesting. I'm very curious to see uh, especially, you know, people that watch this channel, uh, how, how they feel instead, because they, we're, we're kind of a different breed, right? We're, like, all vi very heavy video game players and whatnot. So I'd be interested to see how that kind of plays out. I, I'm not on the eSports hype train. I don't, I don't really think it's... I don't really think it's a viable product as it stands right now. Uh, I think it can be. I'm very excited for it to be. Uh, but, you know, when you compare something like the NFL to uh, the CWL, like, it's not... It's not, it's, it's, it's not even, like, in the same league, man. So let me know what you guys think about, about esports scene, how we can fix that. If it even needs fixing, it's just the natural growth. What do you watch? Very curious to hear that. Your boy Markles, man, Wasteland Wednesday, laying down that murder. Gang, put that on esports channel. Woo!